I always wondered how you guys picked your best dogs. And so like that's the benchmark in, in your head. You've always got, well, I'm, I've got the Supreme back here in my head and I'm thinking, oh, he's falling a little bit short there. I don't think this one will make it. I, I don't think I'll carry on. Mm -hmm. um, that, that's, that's, that's how you sort of divide them out for yourself, is it? Yeah, but I have, uh, first of all, you, you need to like the dog. Mm. I mean, and, uh, and you need to find a dog who, f who work, can take the pressure from your way to work. Yes. And um, I have my way to run a dog, and if it don't respond the way I want, but then you have to take it to the next level, test it there, yes. and see if it follow up there. And then after two, three steps, you see, oh, you can't take that type of pressure when you, when you uh, turn him or when you're shedding. Or, uh, so, I mean, you, you can't really say from the beginning if they are. Well, that's, that's really interesting. That's the first time I kind of started to understand it. So when you get up to a sort of a level and you sort of test them at that level, I like the way you say that. Yeah. But even then, even in the lambing, you're testing when I'm in a bad mood and things are going a bit yeah. wrong. And, and yeah. at least he can, he can stay with me. He's there mm. for me. Yeah. I mean, yeah. exactly, that's because when, say that you, when you come to the Supreme, especially in the shedding there, the dogs are tired, you are tensed, and uh, it's more like a work situation. If they're not there and, and give you all, mm. then you can't do it. Yeah.